Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's do an example when both data are qualitative. For example, we have male and female students. That's the one aspect of it. And the next one is the, the type of degrees they're going to earn. Liberal arts, business administration, or technology degrees. We have a sample of 30 students. And let's see here how many of those 30 students are male. We have one, two, three. 18 male, so male equals 18, that means there should be 12 females because of total, a total of 30 data points. Notice that they are listed as either having a liberal arts degree, a business administration degree, or a technology degree. Now we're going to use the method of tallies to find out how many of each for each type of student, male or female. So we have male and we have liberal arts female business administration, male liberal arts, and male liberal arts. There we go. Now, let's see if I have 30 total tallies, 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 24, 26, 27, 28, 30. So we probably did that correctly. Now we're going to graph that in two ways. First of all, we're just going to strictly graph it by the number, male, female, liberal arts, male, female, female, business administration, male, female, technology. But then we're going to do it again by taking the percentage as the percentage of the total number of males and total number of females. For example, let me find my calculator. Since there are five students that are male that have a liberal arts degree, that's 5 out of 18, so 5 divided by 18, which is 44%. So that's 44% will obtain a liberal arts degree. 6 out of 18, that's 30, let's see here, 6, 5 out of 18? I don't think that's 40, 5 divided by 18. Ah, 28%. I was going to say that doesn't seem like a good number here. 28%. Uh, 6 out of 18 would be 33%, and 7 out of 18, 7 divided by 18, that's uh, 39%. And if I add all that together, that's 60, 80, 88, 90, yep, that adds up to 100%. Okay, 4 females, that's 6 out of 12, that's a full 50% getting a liberal arts degree. Uh, 4 out of 12, that would be a third, that would be 33%. And 2 out of 12, that would be 17%. And there we go, the, in percentage, the number of males and females and what type of degree they will be earning. But first, let's graph it by the total number. So we're going to use color coding for male and female, black for male, blue for female. So male and liberal arts, there's a total of five students. So we'll make a column, five students for the male. Okay, male business administration, six students this and for technology seven students in uh, for male students that get degrees in technology. Right. So you can see a trend mostly technology then business administration then liberal arts degrees. Now for the females. Okay so we have a total of six for liberal arts like so and four and I guess I should make the color all the way down like this. All right. Then for uh, business administration, there's four of them. There we go. And for technology, there's two of them. So you can see the trend, mostly liberal arts, then business administration, and then technology. Now, from this, you would think that there's just a few more female students getting a liberal arts degree compared to male students. But then the, the number's a little bit skewed because we only have 12 female students and 18 male students in our sample. Let's see what it looks like when we take a percentage. So we'll start again with the males. 28%, I'm trying to get the cap off. 28% get liberal arts degrees. So 28%, that's about this much. Business administration is 33%. So, and technology is um, 39%. There we go. Now let's compare females to that. Um, let's see here. We have 5% liberal arts degrees. Business administration is 33%. And technology degrees is 17%. So, 
So now notice we get a very different picture. Here it would appear that many more male students get bachelor, uh, B, uh, BA degrees, business administration degrees, compared to females. But if we do it as a percentage of the total number of students, the same number of male and female students are getting business administration de degrees as a percentage of the total population, or in this case, as a percentage of the sample. Now notice that it seems like almost the same number of students, male and female, are getting liberal arts degrees, but as a percentage of the total number of male and female students, far more female students are getting liberal arts degrees than male students. And notice that it seemed that there was an overwhelming difference between technology degrees for male students versus female students. When we do it as a percentage of the population, the difference wasn't quite as big. Here was more like a one to three, here's more of one to two. So it gives you a very different picture when you graph it as a percentage versus as a total number, especially if the number of female and male students are not the same, uh, not represented the same way in our sample, and that is how that's done.